Hey guys, how are you? A little bit of update. So, the remodeling of the old tower started. So right now I'm here on 5 meters top. Uh, this is the section, you see that where the bolts end. This is the section that is currently added, was already added. And the, re the thing is that this is going to be where it will be folding. So the folding uh, place will take at 6 meters. So this is, this is the 6 meters height right now. Uh, and, and, and the next part will be added as soon as tomorrow, but today it has to be finished like th this one has to be put in, put, put in place. Um, this actually piece has some sort of changes done to it. As you may clearly see, as you may clearly see, it has additional holding bars now added. Here, here, two more, and two more down there. Same will be applied to the bottom section. So let me get down there. So I will be able to show it to you. Yeah, like there. Two more. And like, I guess also one will be somewhere around here and someone around here. So two more will be added uh, additionally because, well, it, it's required for sturdiness of the construction because it'll be bearing way more height, way, way more weight than it was before. Uh, we added also a little bit of folding element here because, like, it was easier to dismount and mount it. Uh, that's just, like, for convenience. It will not be actually in use. It will not be the place where it's folding. So this is only the so-called temporary stuff to be able to unmount this three meters section from the bottom three meters section that's it that's the only thing so what else uh, one more change is happening here right now oh let me show you specifically so <coughs> if you remember uh my other towers so they have this kind of cable that is the pulling cable and there is the electric motor that is actually doing this but the thing is that as me clearly see the tower folds that way and this one folds that way and that one is going to fold that way this means that this motor has to be rotated literally and for this we'll have to adjust the the footing the the, the, the bedding to actually for it to actually fit so that's the only tiny change that is but the same motor will be used no, no difference it will just have to be like rotate literally from the place where it sits and the cable will go exactly to that place exactly on online i mean this will be removed of course but the cable will be absolutely having no issues in going directly to the Guiding roller, same same like this one. So the angle will always always be fixed from the from the uh, electric motor, right? Exactly. Same one will be will be will be in that place. So it will have always the same angle. Uh, no changes, no deviations in that. So this is the first part of it. Next one will be going tomorrow. I will make a long video of this, so don't expect it to be released immediately, but it will be released only after the tower is fully done, fully functional. I will show you everything, how it's actually working. This is going to be the 12 meter. Okay, so let's wait for another part. And this is how you do it if you don't have any other transportation. Nine meters long on this kind of additional flatbed. This is my car. The reason is only I only had to deliver it for probably like one kilometer only. And it was mainly like this field road, so no people over there, no traffic. Literally, such a small amount of distance you can do this, but otherwise you cannot. The problem is here that we have uh, literally almost zero transportation services available. Uh, and like that's the only reason that I, I did it my way as always but I mean it worked it's already in, in place so next thing we will be just like mounting it, it today I've shown you the the other parts so we will be adding on top this piece yeah let's see some final preparations so here is the joint where the main towing cable will be and the so-called bar uh, that will actually allow the, the towing angle to happen 
not directly, but like to, to be nice and it's absolutely we are mimicking this design that oh, is currently here. And what else? Uh, one more roller has to be added. It's currently <laughs> added right now here at this exact place. That's because the electric towing instrument uh, is located over here and like the cable will be going directly from here not touching anything to the roller and then upside to the tower so that's that's the last prep then we'll be picking it up almost done he used the towing cable to actually lift it up there now 10 centimeters left and we will mount it on the folding element not much left so i'm going back to be managing that thing and now a piece of video that is originally in Ukrainian, but let me explain to you what's going on, because some things you can shoot only once and you don't have a second chance. So anyways, I met my electric motor towing operator place and actually I can, I'm helping the guys to lift a little bit because sometimes you have to push it like a couple of inches up, a couple of inches down, uh, half inch up, half inch down. Tenth of inch up, tenth of inch down, because literally we are now trying to find the place um, that exactly matches the hinges to get inside seamlessly and perfectly. Anyways, uh, some kind of additional stuff is required, some kind of rebar, some kind of uh, heavy hammers to actually make it fit, make it get inside. But in any case, this stuff worked quite well. And as you may see, my electric towing motor works absolutely perfectly for this idea. It's, it's right now holding everything, all the construction, all, all, this, all the system up um, using this kind of cable uh, in, <clears throat> via the so-called uh, block, building block that helps it to actually have uh, less speed, but twice the power so it's absolutely relatively easy for it to work on it's done it's sitting on its folding element i mean it can be folded easily i'm doing this with one hand so now we'll have to reapply the towing cable and literally we'll do the the folding up. <laughs> Set the angle, reapply the main towing cable, finishing the, the ending, and we'll try lifting it up very, very soon. And now the most interesting part, doing this for the very first time. And as you may guess again, the first time was also shot originally in Ukrainian. But anyways, um, some things happen only once. You cannot claim it to be done once if it's done twice for the camera. Anyways, so still you have my translation. So the system is prepared. I'm trying to actually give it a little bit of tension and let's see how it goes. Now full throttle and you see it going up, 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 slowly and steadily, nicely and smoothly. Yeah. It goes, it goes, it goes, it goes. But, you see, I have a trouble. I cannot do this with one hand because literally the cable actually moved to the right side. And I mean, I need a second hand to literally guide it, to spread it nicely and evenly through this place. So literally, I'm, I was going to pause this one, this place, because like eventually I had to put it down and then to put it up back. Uh, but just like reapplying the thread. But you, as you may see, the, the, it holds, it holds nicely and it doesn't even uh, create any, any problem for the next nearest standing self-made wind turbine. So all the calculations were made, hmm, seems to be like exactly to the place. Okay, it's all up. We'll secure it tightly on two bolts, like not to move it anywhere because like uh, literally this roller is not okay in this place it has to be moved just on this place uh, so like i mean the distance here obviously will be a little bit more than if you go it directly 
So, and I need this like 30, 40 extra centimeters to actually allow it to get down to this muscle because in eventually in this case we moved it manually and if you see it right now it doesn't touch the roller that's a problem that's something that is not okay if the roller will be just over there it will be literally kissing kissing that roller so it will be exactly what is needed so that's the only change that we will, be, we will do uh, well and that's it that's it next next thing will be I'll be trying some kind of wind turbine there not that one's first not the 3.2 diameter but like something something smaller because I have to try it first on something l less expensive I would say but uh, in a ways yes the test will be very very soon but the tower itself is very good I'm more than happy 12 meters high the highest so far in my place anyways thanks guys we'll show you once more a little bit once this is fully finished and once this is redone but yeah uh, that's that's the idea sorry about the compressor noise but I mean that was eventually required to finish the painting touches but yeah here is the roller reapplied to the new place and I, I mean this is what is expected actually so the the the, uh, the cable will be actually inside this but I mean this is kissing now this roller so that's exactly what is needed so I mean yeah this is done I will like finish all this a little bit later uh, but I mean the, the construction the, the structure itself is ready ready for mounting some kind of wind turbine for the test first and then and then something for production so yeah thanks for watching and see you later